Bonjour mes amis, it's Carly Guy here and I am back with another video and in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I like trim and shape my hair. Um, honestly, there's nothing really wrong with my hair. I like the energy that it's given, but it is time for me to trim my hair. You guys know I've been doing this thing since um, the end of last year um, where I trim my hair every three months. Um, and it is June, the beginning of June now, so it's definitely time for a trim. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, my hair is pretty much still really healthy. But as you can see, there are some curls that just that just ain't keeping the same energy that the rest of my hair has. Um, just to put it short. So I'm just going to trim my hair. And then another thing. I don't know if this side of my hair grows faster than this side, but I can see, as you guys can see, this side is longer. It does hang longer, so I'm going to fix that. Um, and my hair is just lightly styled um, with just a very light styling product. And I like to do that because I want to see my curl definition, but I also want to be able to see like each individual curl um, kind of fluffed out if that makes sense. Yeah, so if you guys want to see how I trim and shape my hair, then just keep watching. <laughs> In a room full of people who don't recognize us I reach out for you and call out your name Oh, I know I should tell you, but Okay, and because my hair is like naturally curly um, It's really no rhyme or reason on how I'm going to be trimming my hair I'm just going to be going throughout and trimming Pretty much each individual curl that looks like it needs a little bit off the end So, as you can see you know what guys, I'm going to change my lens um, so you guys can get a little closer, so hold on a sec. Okay guys, so like I was saying, there's no rhyme or reason. I just take pieces like this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but when I have pieces that are straggly like that, I just can't deal. So I just simply take them and just snip off the very end, the part that's causing the problem. And then I end up with like a pretty much perfect spiral on the end so I pretty much just do that all throughout my hair I'm gonna do one side and then show you guys and then I'll come back um, and show you guys how uh, it compares to the other side now I'm also while doing this I'm also being mindful of um, the shape that this is giving my hair because of course when your hair is in its natural state you um, can definitely end up cutting off more hair than you want to cut. Um, but I find that I've done this so many times that it's not really an issue for me so much. Um, and you see, there'll be pieces like this that um, just kind of lose their shape at the end. Um, and that is just the main objective to get rid of that so that the curl can then resume its normal curl pattern if that makes sense um yeah and then i just continue to do that and i know that it's time to trim my hair when i start getting like little tangles when i'm detangling um just at the end my hair will start to catch and honestly you guys i'm not really concerned about length you guys know i take health over length and i do know my hair grows long so that's not really a big deal for me my hair grows pretty fast um and keeping your hair trimmed pretty regular also helps with the growth and then sometimes i'll come across a piece like this that is perfectly fine that does not need anything um but yeah i just continue to do this throughout you see when i just find a curl that just gets a little thin and like ratty on the ends if you will i'll just go ahead and snip that um, to a point where it looks fuller and more uniform. Yeah, but like I was saying, I'm not really worried about my hair growing. I'm more so at a point now where I prefer my hair to just be really, really healthy as opposed to really long and damaged. Um, that's just pretty much where I am with it. And this just allows me to like really 
sit back and look at the shape that I'm getting. And as you can see, my hair already looks full across the bottom just from getting rid of, let me show you the other side so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you guys can see that this side right here already looks like fuller and more shapely as opposed to this side because it does have that extra down there on the bottom that I basically just got rid of. So now when I do this section, I do like to section my hair off a little more. So I take like just one of these crocodile clips. Oh, I'm already loving the way my hair is shaping up. But um, I just take one of these crocodile clips so I can just see. Um, you guys notice the background is still white, but I'm actually in my bathroom because the floor in my actual room is carpet and ain't nobody got time for those problems. So, yeah. Talk until I start. Oh, I cannot with you in that commercial. Cause that is a whole lot going on. My friend, my best friend Laura, you guys know who she is. She just seen me in a commercial um <laughs> on um I guess Facebook or Instagram or something, and she just cannot with it. It, it is pretty funny. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I just continue to do this, just cutting these pieces. And I know, like, if there are cosmetologists at home or people trained in curly hair, you guys are probably about to have a cow. But like I said, this is my hair, and I do what works for it, what works for me. And that's on period. Period! Um, I just have like pieces that for whatever reason just don't curl as much as they used to. Or maybe it could be due to maybe some, you know, some heat damage. Because I do heat style every now and then. Um, and that does make a difference in the hair. So, just be mindful if you are someone who likes the heat style. Okay, but already, you guys, I can already see that my hair is giving me a different energy just from what I've cut so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that other side down so you guys can compare. So, yeah. So you see how this side ends up with more of a rounded look as opposed to this side. It's, it just looks bulky and heavy. I do not like that so I'm going to go ahead off camera and repeat this on the back section and then I'll come back when I'm doing this last section because I know you guys want to see more so just stay tuned. Okay guys so I'm back and I've already done all of this section right here so I'm actually on my final section here and I am really liking the way my hair is shaping up so far. Um, now, let me just say, you guys, you guys know I mostly wear my hair over to the side. So that's how I'm cutting my hair to lay. Um, so that's why my hair has this part here. Um, but yeah. But this right here now guys, this is kind of giving me what I what I need. I like the way this is looking. Let's see, let's get that little. Oh. And as you will see guys, some of my hair is gonna be shorter. Oh, cool. oh. And I oh well, some of my hair is gonna be shorter, but it's still pretty long. But I still actually have all of my length. I did not cut off really my length. Um so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this section. And as I said, you guys, I do wear my hair over to the side. But this side, I find, just has a lot of hair that's just extra and like needs to go. So...
that pressed. Um, like I said, I'm not really that pressed about length. I just want my hair to feel healthy, to look healthy, and to, I mean, of course, be healthy. And I find that if I'm going to go into this section right here, because for some reason, um, this area of my hair right here, you guys, specifically is a lower density than any of the rest of my hair. So I find that it's important for me to kind of stack it a little bit more in that area just so I can get a little bit more lift like that. Um, so that's why you'll see me taking off a little bit more length in this section just so my hair doesn't lay so flat here and then you know have a lot of volume here. I want to keep the same volume and kind of energy going throughout. I don't know why I've started seeing energy so much but yeah I'm just kind of stacking up some volume so and you guys again this is not taking hair off of my length oh that looks so much better oof this is not taking anything off of my length um it's just giving me a better shape which I'm already in love with and even if I go back to my middle part you can see now that this side matches this side a lot more um so yeah, I do intentionally keep this side a little bit longer just because I like to throw it over to the other side and you know have it look a certain way. So I do intentionally keep this side a little bit longer, but that's overall all the cutting I'm going to be doing for the most part. So here is all the hair I cut. Now definitely not enough for you know a wig or anything, but it could be a cute little toupee moment for somebody honestly. Um, but yeah, that's all the hair I cut and as you can see it's not it's not as much as you would think But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair over Style it and then come back so you guys can see my new shape with me of course for the first time So if you guys want to see what that shape ended up looking like then just stay tuned Okay guys, so I'm back and my hair is of course styled and it's like a hundred percent dry I did film a portion where my hair was like 90% dry, but I wanted it to be completely dry where you could get the full effect and the full shape and this is it. You guys, I am in love with my hair and when I tell you, it is so easy to detangle and style my hair now and I'm actually really glad I went on and did this cut on my hair um, because I did it just in time for Curl Fest. Curl Fest is towards the end of this month. I believe it's the 24th, 25th, 26th. Or something like that don't quote me but curl fest is coming up and i will be there in new york city so i'm excited to see so many of you guys and meet a lot of you guys again that was really exciting and according to my analytics on instagram and youtube like 60 to 70 percent of my followers are in new york city so hopefully i'll get to meet tons of you guys um but guys definitely let me know what you think of this cut let me give you a full 360. So that's that side and that's the other side. So it's just something slight, you know, but I felt like, you know, I've seen so many videos of people doing like diva cuts and different cuts and I was like, you know what, I can do that myself. Why pay somebody $150 or however much the diva cut costs when I can cut that cost and do it myself? Which I did, and like I said, I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks really good. Sorry guys, my monitor's over there. Um, but I think it looks really good, so definitely let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let me know if you like it, if you think I flop, if you can't tell a difference. I mean, I can definitely tell a difference, but of course it's my hair, so I can obviously tell a difference. But I just like the versatility of it, like I can flip it that way, I can flip it that way. I mean, it just looks good any way I put it. Like, literally, it just falls so perfect. Um, so... Yeah guys, definitely just let me know what you think about this cut. Um, let me know if you guys are thinking about cutting your hair. And if you did enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. And just remember guys, if you can't keep it curly, keep it classy. Bye guys, I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>